just covering the fear of losing in chess which brings about some very strange behavior from players only based on my own experience I'm not speaking for anybody else the art of losing that term in its own right makes it sound like the player is rubbish they're not up to standard they're not up to par because they lose so in order to have a winner you have to have somebody who was partaking alongside the winner for a moment a brief moment in time all was equal so that participation is required in order to establish the winner position without participation from um, anyone else there wouldn't be a winner there wouldn't have you wouldn't have excellence or supreme levels or ultimate levels or you know people surpassing each other because at the end of the day in order to win you have to have participation from others it doesn't have to be a physical person if you're doing a solo event such as climbing or climbing a wall then your opponent is the wall so do you win if you climb to the apex or if you want to get halfway up the hill then yes you've won in your own little goal if you're playing against a player or you're in a team or you're playing football or whatever it is um, where the stakes are really high because it's a monetary type thing in order to have a winner you have to have others participating in that area if you didn't have those people participating in that area then you would have somebody walking up picking up a trophy and walking off and that is it so the mindset of loser or losing in my head has changed dramatically for many many years ago because taking part is the key thing now I know people who say yes well taking part that's what losers say etc etc but have a look at the case in point if I for instance wasn't playing this chess game then the opponent wouldn't have anybody to play against so they'll be playing by themselves playing against a computer so there would be no terms that they can pull out to say that they've won unless of course they're playing against a computer to see if they can beat the computer so when you have people participating there's different levels of skills that are shown like in this game here I'm playing the game of chess I'm actually participating my opponent is having to think how do they gain an advantage in the game against us I'm thinking how can I gain an advantage against them in the grand scheme of things if you are looking at sports competitions etc if everybody drew and they were all of the same skill level then nobody would be a winner so then nobody is a loser but then you have the difference between somebody who is a little bit better than the the other person but it doesn't mean that they've cleaned the person out unless of course they're extremely good and they're basically underrated and they're playing somebody who they can wipe the floor with quite easily then there's not really a competition but the loser is still participating so reframing the term loser as in making it a negative connotation I don't I live with the fact that okay I'm taking part in these games and for my opponent giving them the experience we're sharing a like-minded interest in playing the game of chess so there's no winners or losers in that respect the dark side of playing things online such as chess is that some people just 
don't want to lose. They can't stand getting beaten by yourself or somebody else. Um, they're constantly losing and, and they're basically saying, oh, well, no, I, I think I can beat them. So they start then using engines and and basically it's like taking drugs. It's like uh, taking an um, illegal drug to pro improve your performance. And that's where the negative aspect comes in about winning. This pressure on ourselves that we put on to say, well, I should be winning here. I need to win. Rather than accepting that your participation in the game is good enough. And as you develop, if you're looking to improve, then your game will improve as well. But negate the fact that you've put so much pressure on yourself that you're going to end up taking performance enhancing drugs you're going to start using engines to help support yourself or assist assistive toolings uh, whilst you're playing these games online because then that really doesn't it's not a genuine feel that you're going to get as an individual player playing chess and it's not fair on the person who you're playing against because really they're looking to play as a normal human being not with any assistive toolings not with any assistive drugs or anything like that it's a matter of learning to accept that you will lose in chess the super grandmasters lose in chess yep there's games that are drawn in chess so if you can't learn to accept losing in chess and you then have to resort to using engines and things like that maybe it's not the game for you